guys, welcome to my Disney reading. Today we have Disney's Mickey Mouse, a prize winning pair, which is showing as August 31st. Right, shall we begin at the beginning? <laughs> Always a good place. Right, Max and his dad, Goofy, were sitting at the breakfast table. Max looked at the funny pages, while Goofy leafed through the rest of the paper. Listen to this, said Goofy. Channel 10 sponsors the Father and Son of the Year contest. The father and son, who can prove that they have achieved something truly incredible together, will appear on national TV on Father's Day to accept their award. Too bad Bid Bigfoot ruined that video we took of him last summer, said Max. Finding him, a, um, finding him and living to tell about it, now that was incredible. Max paused for a moment. Hey, I know. Why can't we go back and find him again? And this time, we will make sure we have proof. OK, Maxie, count me in, said Goofy. And we can even get a little fishing in too. Goofy and Max reached the campsite that night, pitched their tent and went to sleep. Soon they were awakened by a loud crash. It's him, cried Max. Get the camera. But when they poked their heads out, they saw it wasn't Bigfoot at all, but Pete and PJ. I'm sorry, said PJ. I told my dad about your trip, and now he wants us to win that prize. We're out here looking for Bigfoot too. The next day, Pete set up a barbecue with several juicy steaks. This will lure him for sure, he told PJ. The trick worked. In a matter of minutes, Bigfoot crashed through the trees and made a beeline for the meat. Tackle him, PJ, yelled Pete. <laughs> Though he was scared, PJ did as he was told. Bigfoot threw him around like a rag doll, while Pete turned on the camera. <laughs> the judges are sure to love this, cried Pete. Help! PJ begged. Goofy and Max heard PJ's cries and came running from the lake. Without saying a word, Goofy jabbed the monster in the backside with a fishing lure, while Max threw a fishing net over the monster's head. Howling, the monster dropped PJ to the ground. You were awesome, Max told Goofy. Right back at you, son, Goofy replied. Got it, Pete said triumphantly. Here, PJ, take some footage of me. He struck a hero's pose in front of the captive monster. Back at home, Pete sent this video to Channel 10. But after viewing the tape, the judges decided it was Goofy and Max who deserved the award instead. But on Father's Day, the day they were to appear on TV, Goofy and Max decided to go to the beach together instead. They realised they didn't need anybody to tell them what an incredible father and son team they were. They knew it already. <laughs> so guys, if you enjoyed that story, click like. If you'd like to see more, click subscribe. And the next story will be Disney Pixar up the monster of Paradise Falls. Not sure if you recognise the story there. Uh, is it a goofy movie? That's a brilliant film from the, the 90s or early 2000s. But um, if you haven't seen it, it's, it's a bit of an oldish film now, but uh, Goofy Movie was really good. Um, there is a sequel, isn't there? Um, i trying to remember what it's called. An Extremely Goofy Movie? I think it's that, An Extremely Goofy Movie. Mo movie? Movie? Um, yeah, definitely watch that. You'll absolutely love it, honestly. So, yeah, guys, I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.